today we played Bowser's Fury and we got all custom power-ups for Bowser Jr. in a new adventure over here. So we're gonna start off by going up here because normally when you start the game you want to go over there, you want to go up this ship, but this is a new custom adventure so we are going somewhere else. We have a slightly freaky jump right over here and we're safe. Okay, now let's just get up here and when we're up this high, look at that. We want to jump over there. Okay, so let's just make this jump over here. Please make it. Yeah, we made it. Okay, very nice. Okay, now let's just hit this block. And the first power up that we have is the coin block. So as we move around like this, we get a bunch of coins over here. And it should run out soon. How many coins are we going to get? We're getting so many coins from this. All right, so let's just jump over to here. We can ground pound through here and then get to this block. And if we hit this block, that gives us the propeller box power up. So we can fly back up. The cloud has respawned here. And we just want to bounce along here. Hello, these guys moving back and forth over there. I'll just bounce off of you guys. and we get another propeller boost boost like this. And look at this, we've got a bunch of spinies over here. So let's just take off our propeller box by getting hit by them. And now over here, looks like there are some nice fire flowers for us. We can see that the color of Bowser Jr.'s shell changed a bit for the fire flower power up. And we can also shoot out fireballs so we can start to take out some of these spinies over here. Let's just defeat these and that one. And after all the spinies are defeated, look what happens. This block over here was removed and now we have access to this clear pipe here. So let's just get into this clear pipe here. There we are, into the clear pipe we go. And look at this, we actually go under the goop because the clear pipe goes under the goop a little bit like that. Then we come on out and launch me over there, please. Bowser Jr. is now launched over here and here's our next power up to get. It is the super bell power up and there are some super bells, oh boy, that we could get over here. Okay, we got damaged by that guy. We could swipe at this guy like this and we can break through these blocks over here and we get to this secret area with a few super bells like this. Okay, so let's come back up here. Let's climb on up. So now that we are Cat Bowser Jr., we can do some climbing like this and let's see. I just want to get to the top. There we go. We're at the top over here. This is very nice. Oh, there are some scary cats over here. Very, very scary cats. Oh no. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's jump away from over here. Okay, and just get up here. Up here, let's see how to get to the top. And there we go. Okay, we made it to the top. That's kind of scary. Now, we gotta make it to the top again. Let's go and... Oh boy, we made it to the top and there we are. We made it up to this pipe over here. So let's go down this pipe. We did some good climbing in the Cat Bowser Jr. section. And that brings us to over here. We've got a block here just with a coin over here and there are some boos over here. And if there's one thing that boos don't like, it is light. So we will shine the light on them and they will be defeated. And once they're defeated, that makes these all over here up here. So now we can just run across like this very nicely. And we are also uh, still Cat Bowser Jr. So we can still do some climbing and stuff. Okay, let's just get rid of that power up. Okay, here we are. And look at this, we got some of these guys floating over here. So how about you eat my balls? And we threw a ball at him like that and the ball falls into the goop and then it responds. Oh no, I knocked it away. Let's grab another one and get ready, eat my balls. And let's just go like this, another one defeated. Now just the yellow one. What a great hit. Bowser Jr. has great aim. Can he get that coin though? Let's see. And we even got the coin. Okay, and if we look this way, we can see that there's a Goomba on a block looking at us. But what happens if we get the boomerang power up? We become Shadow Mario, just like from Super Mario Sunshine. This is fantastic. And look at what we throw. Oh, hold on, not the baseball. Look at that. We actually throw Bowser Jr.'s little stick like that in Super Mario Sunshine. So let's go like this. Bam. Goodbye, Goomba. That's all destroyed. This block is gone. And now we can head across this way. Okay, so these blurkers, you can actually, uh, throw your boomerang through them and damage them a bit like this, but then they come back after a moment. But if we grab this right here, we can hold this, and our piranha plant will actually start to uh, eat all these blurkers over here, which is very good for us. Please eat them all. What a good piranha plant we have here. And we've also got a very, very large sleeping Goomba stack over here. There are very, very many sleeping Goombas over here. The sleeping Goombas go up very high. So what we are going to do, of course, is we're going to walk over here and we're going to have our piranha plant eat all of these Goombas. And now the Goombas, they start to come awake now. You can see that these Goombas are awake now and they start to take a few steps towards us, but before they could actually make any distance towards us, you can see that the piranha plant is actually eating all of them. And it's so funny how it's like the Goomba gets brought towards you and then it shrinks down as you're eating all these Goombas. Like, this piranha plant's gonna be really happy about all the Goombas that it is eating here. And that's quite the big Goomba stack. Okay, and there we go. Finally, the Goomba stack is finished. The piranha plant will also eat other piranha plants, but it can't eat big piranha plants like that. So what we could do, whoa, whoa, it even destroyed my piranha plant. Okay, what we can do is we can throw a boomerang at this guy. That's a nice way to defeat him. There's a warp box there, but first, Let's go over here and let's take out this Goomba here. Let's actually take some damage just to become regular Bowser Jr. again. And this Goomba gives us a Goomba mask. 
It's weird now. Bowser Jr. walking around in a Goomba mask here. Should the Goombas even regularly want to attack Bowser Jr.? I thought they should be on the same team. Okay, so let's go into this warp box. That brings us to here. And there are a few big Goombas over here, but we have the Goomba mask on. So we're like, hey, hey, I'm just one of you. No need to worry about me. And you can see that they don't start chasing after me when we get close to them, even though Bowser Jr. might be very- That! Th they're falling into the holes! They're falling into the holes! Okay, but that's okay. We made it past those guys now. We can just go into this warp box here. And that teleports us right over here. We're kind of close. Kind of close to that Bowser over there. Let's just lose the Goomba mask first, because even if you have the Goomba mask, the Skate Goombas still do chase after you. Okay, so we've got a few options over here. We can go into this shell, and we can pop into the shell like this and destroy some of the, those guys like that. Or we can throw this shell, and then that shell will go around and defeat them. Oh, I kicked away the golden shell, and it was destroyed. Okay, and now we can just get right into one of these skates over here, and now we can move around. What a nice way to move around on this skate over here. Okay, and so it might be kind of surprising that you can actually move around on this goop while you are on this skate. I thought that that was a pretty cool fun fact. And also, if you go between Fury Bowser's legs like this, even when he's not active, you do get a Super Bell power-up. And there we are! That's where the Super Bell is! Okay, so that's great! Yeah, there are just a lot of really interesting things in this game that you might have not expected. Okay, so here's Bowser's ship over here. A little scary over here. Let's just make our way back here. We've got some nice ice blocks here. Let's just come up like this. And here we are. Look at this. Look at this. We've got some very big Galoombas on this island over here. And this level might look familiar to some of you because this is actually based on the title screen from Super Mario 3D World, except, well, normally Fury Bowser isn't there, there isn't a thunderstorm going on in the background like this with lots of ink spikes over here as well, and we're also normally not moving around inside a skate over here while we are Bowser Jr. Okay, but here we go, so where we want to go, we want to climb up here, and we can see that up there is a P-switch. So let's just jump to that. Very good, we made it. Jump! All right, we landed on the P-switch, and you might have heard that that made this pipe right here spawn. So let's go down this pipe, and that brings us right over here. We've got some bullet bills that are coming by like this, being launched at each other, and we've also got a question mark block in here. We have the next power-up, though, the Tanuki Leaf power-up. That transforms Bowser Jr. into this Bowser Jr. over here in his clown car. And we've got some really cool attacks and cool abilities while we are Tanuki Leaf Bowser Jr. Let's just spin around and make our way to over here. Great place to be. Okay, let's fly over to here. And we've got some bullies over here, so we can just attack with our paintbrush like this. We've got a very nice attack over there. Oh, they almost pushed us back, actually. And you might be surprised to see that the bullies, they don't die when they fall into the ink like that. Normally, in other levels, you might be used to, uh... These guys, like, suddenly boiling when they fall into lava. Okay, so we're gonna come up here onto this Bowser train over here. Got a Fire Bro right over here, so let's attack him. Goodbye, Mr. Fire Bro. We can come over here and look at this. Look at this, it looks like there's a nice power-up that we want right here. Okay, let's actually take a hit of damage because this power-up, I'm not sure if this power-up shows up properly when you have another power-up active. So let's try this. And there we are! Okay, there we go. Now it works! Okay, so if you have another power-up active, for some reason you can't grab this one also. Okay, but now we can destroy these blocks over here and go into the warp box. And that warp box brings us to over here, and it's really laggy, and you guys will see in just a moment just why it is so laggy over here. Okay, so we just got a double cherry, so that did clone our Bowser Juniors over here. We've got a spike throwing spike bars at us, but you're about to find out why everything is so laggy over here. Okay, so first of all, let's just go on like this. Okay, we've got to step on these P-switches together. It's a good thing that we've got a clone. Okay, and things look fine now. Okay, so let's just drop down here together. Got both of our Bowser Juniors here. Let's just jump over here. We get the green star, and we come up to here, and look at that. Up high, if we go a little bit higher, there's a P-switch there. But let's do this. Let's come down through here. That bounces us up even higher. When we step on the P-switch, now all of a sudden, this path over here opens up, and there are some blocks over here. So let's just roll into these blocks right here. There's a mushroom there! We need the mushroom! We need the mushroom! Okay, we are giant now! Let's go! Oh, I knocked the other Bowser Jr. back. Okay, let's get going over here! Look at us go! It's like we're flying across the goop over here. Okay, and our giant Bowser Jr. is running through the goop over here. He is unstoppable, collecting the coin rings. He's about to go into that warp box there, and there we are! And that brings us all the way up here. We hit the block. That makes the Lucky Cat Bell appear for us. 
And there are so many Goombas down there. There are a very wild amount of Goombas down there. That is partially why the game is so laggy here. So let's use this power up. We become the golden Mario statue. We get lots of coins as we come down and we are now in statue mode. So whatever touches us now is now getting destroyed. But that isn't enough. We need more than that. Let's come over here. Let's get the star power up. We get the star power up. We are now invincible Bowser Jr. as we are making our way through here. Destroying all these guys over here. Getting all kinds of power ups spawning from all the coins that we are getting. We are just running through all these Goombas over here while we are invincible. Come here you little Goombas. And then we also hit this block and we become giant Bowser Jr. Giant invincible Bowser Jr. We are combining power-ups here and we are stomping through these Goombas like they are absolutely nothing. So many Goombas are being destroyed here. Trees are being destroyed. Just everything is being destroyed by Bowser Jr. over here. And we can also get some Bowser Jr. clones to help out here with finishing off these Goombas. I really recommend you watch my video where we see which enemies giant Mario can defeat in this game. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have an absolutely incredible day ahead of you. And take care, everybody.